Zainal Idris' home was completely destroyed by the giant waves following the 7.4 magnitude earthquake that rocked Palu last Friday. Not a single wall was left standing. The 54-year-old has felt tremors before in the city, but this time it was different. He yelled to his family members to run once he saw the seawater level rising. Bersama keluarga ajak saudara dari sini kurang lebih dua kilo kita lari. Dua kilo itu tidak terasa. Namanya itu sok sok terapi tiba-tiba itu kita lari. Many of the residents in this coastal village who fled after the tsunami are still on the hills. They are too afraid to come down as the sight of the tsunami's fury and the trail of destruction it left behind is still fresh in their minds. The tsunami that hit Palu was so massive that this fishing vessel was lifted by the wall of water and thrown ashore some 50 meters away from the coastline. Survivors say the waves was more than six meters high, destroying almost everything in its path. Hospitals have been overwhelmed, looting has been rife, and disease is a growing concern. These survivors who are still camping out in the open near their homes fear people may steal what's left of their belongings. This sign reads, we are suffering but still being looted. Survivors are also desperate to get more relief supplies like water, food, tents. Karena selama ini cuma masyarakat yang lewat saja yang kasih kalau yang dari pemerintah daerah ini belum ada. Paling satu minggu ke depan, Pak. Pertahannya satu minggu ke depan karena banyak juga pengungsian di atas, Pak. Yang belum belum apa istilahnya kita jatah-jatah lah, Pak ya. Ada yang kita dapat di sini ya kita jatah untuk mereka-mereka, Pak. Gitu. Authorities admit a relief has been slow due to the scale of the disaster. Logistik terus disuplai bahkan KRI KRI dari TNI juga dikerahkan bersama dengan kapal Pelni membawa logistik menuju ke arah Palu, Donggala, Sigi, Parigi Muntong. Rescuers are in desperate attempt to find survivors. It's still unclear how many more victims lie beneath the rubble and debris. On Wednesday, one more body was pulled out, now waiting to be identified. For Zainal, he may have lost almost everything, but he's lucky to still be alive. What's left now is for him to pick up the pieces and try to rebuild his home, his life and his future once again. Saifubari Smile, Channel News Asia, Palu, Central Sulawesi.